an exquisite example of the iron oxides included uh, calcites from the Tumeb mine Namibia. Uh, technically speaking, we could say hematite included. Now, now often in these, um, I actually need to look into these crystals. We we may even have some chalka trichite inclusion here, although this is more of a brick red going into a uh, well deep brick red. This is a pretty accurate indication. Uh, from a quality point of view, pretty, the specimen is pretty much intact all around. Uh, from a display point of view, we could have it on a turntable going like this. Going around like this. Lovely, intense dark color in these uh, calcites. And I'm sure when magnified, I wonder if there's not little bushes of perhaps chalka trichite crystals inside here. But, but for now, I'm going to go with uh, uh, iron oxides included, uh, which... which uh, is um, uh, to be safe. Uh, Chalka trichat, of course, is quite a rarity. So we're going to go with iron oxides as an aesthetic. Now let's have a look at the, the other, we turn it around the other way. So we've been using this as a base. Let's have a look in there. Quite a lovely bright light. This is a little Tsumeb classic, actually. Lovely, lovely bright color. And, and this almost a jemmy look to it. Lots of bling bling. And uh, pretty perfect. Okay, this this may be little fracture zones, but uh, not scratched at all. Quite lovely. Let's have a closer look in here. Quite enjoy this angle. And what's sitting on top of those uh, um, uh, ferruginous calcites, let's say, or iron oxide included calcite, most likely a little dusting of um, aragonite. But let's have a closer look. Maybe some mimetite even. <laughs> 